I want to call this uh, meeting to order because it's 10.03. Uh, yeah. It's a nice place for a thing that I know in Colorado, so it's not very expensive. I'm going to ask you to speak, but it's a Zoom meeting also that you identify yourself. Who don't be standing in the place of the meeting. That's exactly what I'm saying. The United States of America. America. To the Republic, which stands one nation, one yeah, so just to remind everybody, um, the capital, the capital outlay committee um, is accepting our uh, capital expenditure forms and requests um, to inform fiscal year 23 and the following four fiscal years thereafter uh, like we're like we are asking that we are asking that all departments boards and committees uh, 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 like have the requests and the accompanying forms uh, uh, over to us uh, by the 18th which is just over a week away uh, we have uh, we've worked with a number of folks, with a number of department headquarters and committees. Uh, if you have any issues, if you have any questions, uh, 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 oh yeah, like I'm here, just reach out. Uh, I, uh, already I know we um, have some from fire. Uh, like we're expecting some from police. Um, we have uh, some and we're anticipating more from highway. Uh, like I, uh, if we have a feasibility study for like a new uh, uh, for a new fire building. Uh, like we are anticipating a request, I believe, from Jocelyn um, and the Library Board of Trustees, uh, like for uh, like a feasibility study for the library as well. Um, we have a, like I think a request so far from the town clerk. I want to say, right, Mark, you sent one in already. Um, uh, I. Oh, and a few other folks. And I had a call um, actually with Dr. Azar like a few weeks ago, and I anticipate uh, that we, that the schools are going to like send some in as well. So that will be helpful because we want them to be part of it. Uh, like we, one notification. Uh, yeah, like so. If anyone has any questions, any issues, uh, any issues or questions about the process, I uh, am yeah, here. Just reach out. Uh, uh, I'm excited. I mean, I'm excited that we're actually coming up with a capital plan, uh, like for FY23 and for the next uh, uh, five years. That will really help us address all of our needs in town. Um, anyone have any questions on that? I know that the Star Commission last night in order yes. to send you uh, their uh, five-year plan. Sweet question. That is perfect. Anyone else? I'm on the capital planning process. Five year plan, Mike, for the sewer department. Yes. We don't use any town funds, so why would we need to fill out a five year plan? Uh, 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 you know, like the sewer department is part of the town, like, and even though they're dedicated funds, we want to have a list and an inventory of, uh, uh, like of what the sewer department's anticipated needs and projects are. Yeah, but we don't ever use any count funds. Yeah, this form asks you where the funds are coming from. So you can put down the making yes. request or whatever, where the funds are coming from. Obviously, it's coming from the radius. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But that's, that needs to be done. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Those are up there. A swap shed, a new uh, shed for the attendant. And lastly, a point of service system. So everything can be done electronically instead of uh, what we're doing now, which is okay. kind of time consuming. And it'll provide better record keeping also of what we're taking in and uh, getting rid of up there. So Thank you. Uh, that'll be done by, by the 18th. So I appreciate. Uh, no, I appreciate it. 
part like that I think Mr. Ryan probably appreciates it as well. So yeah, you, you would streamline the process, you know, not only for myself but for the residents to be able to track um, the materials and things that they need to turn out. Oh yeah, no, I, it seems great. Also, to streamline the process. Uh, you know, I was talking about a shed for you, like to keep you in and out of the elements. Dude, that'd be great too. You know, the shed there is existing is probably 12, 15 years old. Um, okay. It serves the purpose for now, but I know, understand that with the swap shed also, it's going to open up many more avenues for the Board of Health to go out and receive grant money through the. Okay. Great. <clears throat> Thank you, gentlemen. Anybody else? Uh, anybody Mike, else have questions about the capital planning? Mike? Yes. Uh, just to just to comment on what Woody had said. Mm -hmm. Even though they have a separate um, board of commissioners, they are not a district, they're a department of the town. And should there be major capital expenses, they would have to appear on the warrant for a town meeting vote. So it's not necessarily the source of funding. It's the fact that it is part, as you described, it's part of the overall town budget, just like so many other things are. So that's that's what's important to recognize about the sewer department. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I appreciate it. Anyone else? Hearing none. Um, I want to hand out. Uh, I got a ton of content for all three, uh, but uh, uh, we have like a draft. Uh, oh, I have like a 23 by crisis calendar uh, that we wanted to go over with everybody. That takes us uh, now to the annual town meeting. Oh, sorry. The annual town meeting in June. Thank you. Oh. Okay. So, Janelle? financial team yesterday afternoon. I, I can obviously, uh, 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 I, uh, where we are now in the calendar, we just, I, uh, we just actually finished the first four months um, of fiscal year 2022. Um, and we had an opportunity to examine where our revenues are now, especially in terms of local receipts. Uh, 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 I guess they relate to the projections that we made last spring. Uh, uh, I can all know. Now, on almost every revenue account, uh, like we're trending on projection, but we uh, are trending on projection. We are not uh, uh, like ahead of projection in a lot of areas either. Uh, so, like as we plan forward for uh, like FY23, uh, 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 like I think it's like I think uh, I think based on what we're looking at. In terms of available revenues, it's going to be a very tight year. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, 
oh, you know, and that means that the yellow set that we are going to, uh, oh, you know, have an issue with funding uh, like anything over and above where we are now. So I just want to uh, actually set that expectation now that as we go forward uh, uh, into 23, it's going to be a tight year. Uh, 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 can I, uh, oh, and any help with identifying any efficiencies? Uh, 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 any help in terms of identifying savings without uh, uh, actually adding any new people or programs, I think is going to be imperative uh, 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 at this point of what we're tracking and where we're going uh, into FY23. Like, and I know it's, I uh, yeah, Oh, yeah, I think we're really going to need to buckle up the next few years because I think uh, 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 all the challenges that we uh, had anticipated at the beginning of COVID and now really coming to a head uh, are going to something we're going to have to deal with as we go forward. Uh, any questions on that at all? But just a quick question. Who are the members of the financial team and what departments do they represent? Yep, so the, uh, uh, so the financial team Oh, yeah, includes the town administrator, the town accountant, uh, the town assessor, uh, the, uh, the, town the, town the town treasurer, uh, collector, and the executive assistant to the board of selectmen. Thank you. Yep. Just want to make a comment that uh, thank you uh, for getting this together. Uh, you went on board the last budget process. You came in March, you started March, so, like you already started the process. Mm -hmm. The town accountant was leading. I just think it's going to work a lot better this. I appreciate it. I, I, any, uh, I, anyone else have, I have any questions where we are, what we're thinking, what we're anticipating going forward at all? Uh, anyone on Zoom? Okay. So I'm... If you're done, are you done? Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask uh, for a request from each uh, department. I'm going to start with Jonathan Gale because he's uh, going to leave at 10 30. So I just want to get him hey. out of the way. Jonathan. Okay. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, first of all, um, I just want to let everybody know that we, thanks to uh, the work that Kevin Smith Jr. did, we now have a a Facebook page for the Commission on Disability, which we launched the other day. Um, I will be adding periodically some things into it, some mostly some links to sources and resources. Um, and when there's announcements to be made for things that are, are beneficial and sourceful to the town. So thank you, Kevin, for doing that. Um, and um, Mike, I know you have administrative rights to it, so feel free to stop anything you don't think we should put up there. Um, that's, that's ongoing. Uh, for those of you who don't know, they are doing work over at the middle school on the curb cuts and uh, railings to make them uh, fully accessible. That has been long overdue. Um, they've also been grinding some of the other areas that were broken up, which were areas for wheelchairs and walkers. That process hopefully will be finished in the next week or 10 days. The railings are in the process of being ordered, um, but that's going to give a whole new look to the front of the school and we'll give people much, much better access. That should, as I said, should be completed uh, very, very shortly. Um, I'm planning to, to, I haven't been able to get because of my schedule to the uh, sidewalks yet on Center Street. I know there was a question mark that came up at a, a recent meeting. I'm hoping to get to that tomorrow, actually. And I can report back at our next monthly meeting and um, to the Board of Selectmen on both that those sidewalks. Um, other than that, we, we get a calls from residents asking different questions about accessibility and resources and so forth in general and uh, refer those on to the appropriate agencies or organizations they can go to. Um, I sent out recently, and I'm, I think all of you received the uh, information with regard to uh, open meeting laws and public meetings for people with disability. There was one of the three workshops already that I attended. Um, I know some of you have planned to attend either one or two or all three of the workshops for that information. Once the workshops are completed after all three, I'm gonna to put together information and I will put it uh, on our Facebook page, but also disseminate it through the Board of Selectmen's office so that uh, everyone has the information on open meeting accessibility uh, resources and criteria so that 
going forward, that's something we, we can ultimately work towards trying to make as accessible as possible. We do it now, but there's also a lot of resources we can avail ourselves of that are no cost and so forth. So there are little other things going on here and there, but that's kind of the update for now. I don't know if anybody has any questions. Any questions? No questions, uh, Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. Uh, Kerry, do you have anything to uh, report to us? Planning CBA? So, uh, for planning, as most of you know, we have the continuation of the of the hearing for the major modification for Brook Street Solar. Um, so, Chief McGee, can you just confirm if you're going to be at the hearing next week? I will be. Much appreciated. Um, so, we are the peer review engineer is wrapping up his comments. Um, he wanted to incorporate. Um, comments from the site visit. So he was wrapping up that up and we're hoping to have that by the end of this week so that they can have it. Then Forest Hills, I spoke to the attorney, Joshua Glass. He's gonna ask for another continuation. Yep, so um, I think that's pretty much it that I have on my end for planning. Um, ZBA. Not too much going on. Um, some of you have received an email. Um, we have gotten notification. So I sent out an email to the 40B committee, the Zoning Board of Appeals, and uh, the ZBA's um, attorney. I'm in touch with the, I think it's the Department of Housing. Um, we got notification that one of our affordable units got sold at a market rate. So um, now we're looking for our next course of action. So I'll keep you apprised on that. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you, Kerry. You're welcome. Uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, yeah, um, the assessors uh, have received uh, written approval of all of the documentation that's been submitted in preparation to set the tax rate. Uh, we, uh, I know the town accountant has some forms to fill out uh, to get to us, but we're looking at a date of um, December 8th, I believe, is when the Board of Selectmen plans to have the classification hearing meeting so that the tax rate can be set. Um, all of the free cash accounts have been approved. I got an email this morning few minutes ago saying that they had approved the free cash amount for the Dighton Water District. So I think all the districts have also been had their free cash certified. Um, so from uh, what Kerry mentioned about that home uh, in the orchards, uh, yes, we discussed that briefly at an assessor's meeting. And so the assessor's office will be working uh, with zoning as far as getting the information together because obviously uh, the property was sold way over what it should have been sold for. And uh, obviously there should be deed restrictions. So anyhow, the assessor's office will be working with uh, Mrs. East today on that to get the information together. Um, from a stormwater perspective, um, five members of the uh, committee were at a site visit on Brook Street to uh, go over um, and get answers to a lot of questions relative to the soil farm that Grasshopper is building. And um, Stormwater is waiting for the planning board's next meeting to find out what action they plan to take. Um, and depending upon what the planning board does, the Stormwater Committee um, may have to do some things or the only question we have at present are panels in the solar basin. So. Um, so that's out there. We're working on um, the solar farms on Tremont Street and Middle Street. And um, I got some new information that came in on that a few minutes ago and I just forwarded it to um, Chief McGee and, and Mr. Uh, Rhymes and Mr. Aguiar and um, Mr. Pilling. Um, some new information that we didn't have previously. So uh, that'll be something we'll be looking at. Uh, other than that, we have the usual kinds of um, uh, 
questions, complaints, concerns about places in town. We're following up with uh, stormwater issues. Um, some of them have been continued. Uh, we're waiting for plans for cleanup of a site on County Street. Just a public information thing I want to mention. We did have a concerned citizen contact the uh, Board of Health relative to what they thought was soap suds in the Segregancet River at the Elm Street Bridge. And the person went to Brook Street and checked out the river there and again saw this foamy white stuff. Um, if you've been on Lincoln Avenue recently, uh, the Three Mile River also has this. This is not, this is not pollution from somebody pumping a washer into the river or pumping septic waste or anything else. This is a natural occurrence of, of decomposition of organic materials. And with all the rain we've had and the rivers being flowing quite quickly and stirring up everything, uh, that's what is uh that's what you're seeing it is not pollution per se um i did forward a copy of a uh informational thing from uh the epa relative to uh and it was epa dep about this phenomenon that happens it's a natural occurrence so the only thing i would say is that if anyone has concerns about anything they see in the river that looks like soap suds um Unless there is a definite odor of septic waste and it doesn't smell like uh, decomposition of leaves and things like that, uh, that should be reported to the Board of Health. But for the time being, what you're seeing is a natural occurrence. And once the rivers slow up a bit, um, we probably won't be seeing all those suds and things. But uh, just in case anyone else hears about it, um, that's what's going on. Um, so that's what that's all I have for uh, assessors and stormwater. I do have to leave the meeting for an MMA meeting at just before 11. So uh, I'll just leave when the time comes if we're still in session. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Gulak. Uh, Lisa, do you have anything for us for conservation? Yep. Hi. Um, we have various things. I mean, it's getting a little challenging, but. Um, we're hanging in there. Harry, did you turn that down? Okay. Um, can everyone hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so we have long built homes um, requested a continuance, and we um, actually, in the meantime, have, have heard from them. They've um, submitted a revised plan that our engineers and wetland scientists are reviewing. Um, so I expect that um, they'll be at our next meeting to discuss this um, because it is continued. Um, our next meeting, just so everybody knows, is November 18th. Um, Forest Hills, as everybody knows, um, has requested a continuance for us as well. Uh, due to the fact that they're trying to come up with the responses to the planning board's recommendations. Um, um, Richard Fedoroff from Stonegate Landing has received two um, orders of conditions from us. Um, we closed two hearings at our last meeting for lots two and four for two single family homes. Um, we also have uh, requested a mitigation plan from Reeds at 1050 William Street, which we've received from Outback Engineering. Um, we've tabled this due to the fact that there are some other permits that they need to get in order to um, restore the wetland areas. Uh, they have to meet the water quality regulations and Army Corps. So we're waiting on them to get um, responses from those other agencies. Um, since our last meeting and for our November 18th meeting, we'll have two new notices of intent, um, one for 170 um, Beach Street and um, one for 
um, County, Zero County Street. Uh, Zero County Street is a new home. 170 Beach is a replacement system and a uh, replacement garage, as well as some landscaping. Um, we continue to address some of the violations around town um, and educate people on you know, what's allowed and what's not allowed. Um, and um, we could use some new members or at least we have an opening for an associate member at the time. So I don't know if um, anyone knows anyone interested in being on the Conservation Commission, but um, we could use help. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Jocelyn? Thank you. Hi. Um, we're starting our, um, we have some preschool story times and some um, toddler story times starting next week, I think. We have, um, the friends are doing their gift card fundraiser through November. For Christmas. And I just heard this week that we are, um, we qualified, we, we got our acceptance letter from um, the federal government through the FCC. And the, um, I just know acronyms for them, USAF, for our five devices, so we can pair them up with our five hotspots that we've already gotten for CARES Act funding. So um, we can start the process of buying those devices and start offering that service to people. And so we're moving along. Thank you, Jocelyn. Tom? Yes, good morning. Good morning. So as you know, we're in a transition of seasons. Um, our snow readiness is almost complete, uh, probably latter part of next week. Um, thanks to the Slepman, we had a great response in our hired trucks. Um, state of Massachusetts is making the news out here in Colorado with uh, similar problems, but um, we're, we should be in good shape and ready next week, like I said. Uh, on another note, outside of the department, I mean, everyone knows what we're doing uh, behind the scenes on various projects, but um, uh, in particular, I'm not sure uh, this board of selectmen in particular was formally invited for the Saturday after Thanksgiving. I just want to put a bug out there. I'm not the person to do the actual invite, but I want to make sure it's on uh, the selectmen's agenda. It'd be great if you guys could be there for the tree lighting. And I still need to meet with uh, both chiefs on uh, possibly reversing the parade section and some other subtle changes on a campus, I mean, the complex there. So uh, there's some, some planning that needs to happen next week when I return. Is that it, Tom? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, Tom. Uh, Mrs. Schoolhouse. Mr. Chairman, uh, I just have a question. Uh, Tom, which tree is going to be lit? Is it going to be the one on the far north end of the field? Uh, we're still working on that. It, it may be the whole complex at the same time. Um, we're, we're working on that because the actual festivities is going to be at this time right at the pavilion. That's where the stage is going to be. Oh, okay. Um, I have a request then. Um, I'd like a table inside the pavilion because I've got uh, the handouts from the stormwater committee and one of the handouts, as you know, is the calendar. So I want to get them out before the end of the year. So I just need a tiny little table. Yes, that, that should be no problem. There's a bunch of picnic tables in there now and it shouldn't be no problem to set up something more simple like you're okay. suggesting. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Tom. Looks like going around the room, uh, Mr. Pius. Start with you, want to help? Yeah, hi, good morning. Uh, start with the COVID numbers. Uh, it's been steady, it's not up or down. But I will, we don't have the exact numbers, or I don't have them this morning, but I will have the health agent uh, run the numbers for you tonight. I, I think we'd like to announce it yep. at your regular meeting. Um, he was out on the prayer this morning and I wasn't able to, to get it. Uh, as far as the number of trips going, uh, last month there was 
Well, I went to the hotline and he said no on nothing. Uh, I've been busy this month, privately, probably September. So uh, we're keeping up with it. The increase in hours certainly will be a plus. Uh, we have a loose, loose animal issues. We kind of have ongoing problems with this individual. Uh, some of the fowl are getting hit by cars, I'm understanding, and the pigs they have are getting loose and digging up uh, private property. Uh, the health agent and the animal control office already addressed it once. Uh, they're going to be uh, revisiting it uh, as soon as she comes back from vacation, which I think is Friday, I'm told. Um, the, as you know, the kennel bylaw did not pass at last town meeting, which was kind of unfortunate because a lot of people wanted to get their license for a residential kennel without going through the process of spending all our money. Uh, we're meeting today to rediscuss some of this. The kind of bylaw is in place. Part of the regs are already, well, actually one section of the regs are already done, and uh, Tom Clerk and I have agreed uh, that they will serve the purpose. Uh, also, so we're revisiting another section that we want to introduce regulations this morning. Uh, all the other regs, that, uh, tobacco regs, uh, local regs for Title V and body art regs, we're starting all that. Hopefully on this meeting, the 18th, it's going to be a little difficult because we're lacking a member. Uh, I have, we have two or three people in mind uh, that we'll probably be discussing on the 18th also. Tom Nurse, that we recently hired it is starting naming training. And as soon as that's completed, uh, we'll, we'll get it going on uh, contact tracing. And we'll also have a starting training on the 100, 200, 700 uh, of the ICS. So she got a little bit of training ahead of her, but we felt the uh, mailer was most important. Going forward, right now all cases are being sent to the CTC for contact tracing. Uh, we're not doing it at this point without authority. As I mentioned, we have a three-member board of health vacancy, and I think that's it. Thank you. Unless you have any questions of me or some other questions. <laughs> I did come, come across a deal last night on my way here to, uh, to the meeting. It's on uh, Chase Avenue, who was dead. Chase Avenue, 138, in order by the police department. I, I guess the there's department. been uh, several deer hits in town. Um, Swansea has been covering them. Chief and I were just talking about it. So we, we probably should find some place or some procedure to. Uh, get these things picked up and disposed of properly. Uh, I hate to say it on TV, but they used to go to various places and let nature take care of itself, uh, which is a circle of life. So, you know, a lot of people frown on that, but that's the way it was before we came here. So, you know, it's, uh, but we will work on something for the 21st century. Okay. Yes, hello. Hello, everyone. How are we doing? A um, couple things. First, um, the next two days at Town Hall are going to be very disruptive, although we're all not going to be there. Uh, we'll be off for the holiday. We have the, thanks to Karen Brady, especially, she worked really hard on this. The final project for this funding round for Green Communities is happening. We're going to change all the lighting at Town Hall. So all I, every office will be worked in. So all I ask is that if there's anything out that you would want to be seen, put it away. But all the lighting will be changed. There may be some disruption Monday morning when you come in. We apologize for that, but the electricians have to get in and around the desk to change the lighting out. 
Um, so that will be that should be done hopefully by Friday afternoon, um, and with the exception of the second half of the upper level town hall, um, a good part of the uh, town hall upper level project will be done. Uh, we're going to work on that probably start on the design and the discussion with the selectmen about the next phase, and then after the holiday season, we get started on construction on the other side of the building. So. In the interim, we're going to finish off the uh, treasure collector, which basically is just superficial with the exception of a little bit of construction. So it's going well, and I thank everybody for your patience and your cooperation. Um, the second thing is to deal with finances. First, I want to commend the accountant and the town administrator for presenting this today. One of the reasons I came to this town was because we took our fiscal responsibility very seriously. And I found over the last few years, I've been very disappointed with the, with the budgeting process. So to see this happen today is definitely a step in the right direction. And I want to thank the two of you for that. Because I'm looking forward to getting back on track. Um, and then touching on what Mr. Mullins said about revenues, um, he's exactly right. I've been telling people for a lot of years, Titan's been in a groove where we've had a tremendous amount of growth which helped both the growth segment and the local revenues. I think it's finally come to the head. Uh, it took 12 years to get here, but I think it's finally happening. I don't know if exactly if it's a pandemic, the uh, inflation costs, um, I, I think it's actually a combination of all the above, including the water moratorium. So I think we're definitely gonna see local revenues um, well below expectations. So we're all gonna have to tighten our belts up because we've been doing pretty well for the last uh, dozen years or so. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jen. Uh, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Um, I just want to make a comment on what Mr. Pius said about the yeah, yeah, next week when Stacy gets back, we are going to sit with her. Um, there are a lot of calls coming in. It is. Um, it's every town around the surrounding towns, it's the same thing happening with them, too. So, uh, how they used to do it, like Tom said, years ago, there used to be a, a list form. We put it out, and anybody interested, if a deal was hit, you were on the list, so it goes in rotation, someone pick it up, has to be tagged, of course, and all that. So we're gonna try to get set something like that, to have that done, so it's a system. Um, yeah, Swansea is covering Stacy right now, but they were called, she was called, and they said they don't pick up deer. So, all right, that's that's what they do, they don't do whatever, how they do it. But um, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna discuss that, and, Figure out the system the way we can have that done. Um, and Stacy, I just want to say about Stacy. She's been coming in the station doing reports on IMC um, just about every day. Last, last week she was there every day for a couple hours, putting all the reports that she has into the system. So I want to give you know give her a little credit for that. She came in and she's doing that now. So that that's a, that's a big thing for us. To do that. So I just want to say that about her. Um, other thing in the police department. Uh, the last month and a half, we formed some committees in the department with the offices. So we have four committees that we're, we're, we're looking into now. We have the um, dispatch policy. We're updating our dispatch policy procedures. We are looking into uh, police department policy procedures. We're going to update those that need to be done. Um, another one is traffic safety and, uh, policy. Um, we have several offices on that. Um, we've met a couple of times already on it. And we have a grant now that we're looking into purchasing some things. One of the things we're going to look at is, you know, those speed signs on the uh, signs on Center Street where the Aggie School is? We're going to look at, at least get one of those, maybe two of them. Um, this month coming up, we're going to put extra patrols on due to Christmas, the holiday coming up, New Year's. Um, a lot of times we put extra guys on due to yeah, house breaks that can happen during the time because of Christmas coming here. So we're going to be looking doing that. That'll be coming up with the officers because of this grant that we have. We can do that. Another one is a, a comfort dog committee. So what that comfort dog is, I know Somerset has it. It's, it's a dog that you can have. So it works for like if there's a domestic and there's young children to try to comfort them. Um, we can use it for that. Other things that we can use it for. Uh, Steve Hathaway is on that committee. Alyssa Bennett's on that committee. Uh, me and the lieutenant. So they've done a good job. They've checked with the schools because you can bring in the schools. They've already talked to the school. They're all on board with all that. So that's going to take some time um, to get them going. But uh, we're working on those. We meet Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays 
of all different all the four different committees for a couple hours in the morning. So I'm gonna be doing that now for a little while, so hopefully we'll get things done like that. A great idea with the dog. Yeah, it, I mean, I know some said that. There's a lot of times a couple of Steve Hackers would call another department. Rhode Island, I know, has some, and they, they said it, it's terrific. It really is a, a good thing to have. So we want, we want to do that. We're going to look at it. It's going to take some time, but hopefully we'll, we'll get that. I know that my granddaughter comes over. She says, Hi, Grandpa, where's Abby? The dog. So yeah. That's why she's coming over. See yeah. the dog. So I, it's going to be coming. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the parts you talked to, they said it really works. It's a big help. So that's basically what we've done. So um, that's it for me. Chief Hello, uh, morning, everybody. Fire department is doing our thing. Um, I have two retirements coming up in the beginning of January. I posted those positions internally. I'm um, hoping I can tie up from within. Um, we are working with Jim on several things in town. Um, we have the toy drive at the police department coming up December 4th, 9 a.m. as usual, right here in the parking lot up front. Um, we have the Santa Run, the annual Santa Run uh, around town. That's December 12th with a rain date of the 19th. So that's what we're working on. Thank you. We're not much sure you represent you. Just observe him. Maybe you want to speak? Sure. I represent the town of Sure. You want to speak? Sure. Um, I'll touch on the deer thing because Saturday, there was a gentleman down the dump who had a deer die on the property. Mr. Ryan's called me uh, because Stacy was out of town and nobody else would pick up the deer. But he's a new resident in town and he's like a city slicker and he was kind of freaked out by it. So I, I took a ride over there and picked the deer up for him. I donated it to the club that I belong to, Somerset Sportsman's Club, and we use that kind of meat for game dinners. Um, and usually if Sarah Stacy's around, um, she'll pick them up or she'll give us a call and we'll pick them up. But uh, I, you know, I'll give the chief my phone number for when Stacy ain't around. Uh, and we'll make sure the deer gets taken care of. And we also report them to the EPO. And get it tagged. That way, the you know the state knows how many deer are killed in you know zone eleven. We live in zone zone eleven. But uh, other than that, you know, my, my the main reason I came here was about that five five year um, plan. Yeah. So I, I'll relay the message to Diane. But other than that, it's all right. Did, did you pick up that deer last night? I know I went right to the police. Yeah, I didn't hear about that one last night. And I know. I got the chain right now. I got it It wasn't there. So. Yeah, I mean, we'll pick everyone up that you can find. And even if it's mangled too bad, we bury them off back. So. It wasn't that. Yeah, this <laughs> thing, man, the, the new guy in town was quite freaked out, right? <laughs> he had a beautiful hole, brand new lawn, and the deer was laying in. He said it was suffering and then died. So, I took care of it. Thank you. Uh, Stephanie? Um, like Mrs. Clark had said earlier, um, our values and our goals have been approved with DOR. Um, free data should be approved. So we're really just pushing forward to get the tax rate set. We'll be sitting down the bottom for some Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to follow up. I had sent an email on Monday, and hopefully I included everyone, but if I did not, please let me know. Um, but Thanksgiving week coming up, we're only here on Monday and Tuesday, so unless you have an invoice that's absolutely immediately needs to be taken, you could submit it the following week, week after Thanksgiving, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I just wanted to make a message about the open meeting law. So just keep in mind the town hall hours and keep in mind the legal holiday. So if you have a meeting that's coming up for any of the holidays coming up, just keep that in mind. Um, if you wait until the end of the day, you should follow up with a phone call. Don't assume it was posted if it's important. Um, I want to piggyback on Tom Ferry's comment on the tree line committee. It is not funded by the town, it's independent, it's funded by donations. So far, that's the two hopes, and I believe. Have donated and thank you to them. 
And I wanted to thank the Board of Selectmen and the Board of Selectmen's office, Mike and Karen and Leah, they're working on a website upgrade and they've included me in some of those discussions. So thank you. Uh, that's exciting. Thank The uh, Veterans Breakfast uh, was a success. Uh, we had it Saturday before the end. And we are ready for our ceremony uh, tomorrow morning here at the yeah, I just want to piggyback off of uh, what Mr. Beach today said. Just a reminder that our public hearings will be held at the Old Town Hall inside the building. <coughs> if they are scheduled at any other facility, uh, reach out to Mr. Beach today to let you know. Mr. Potter just walked away. I have a question with him, and I'm going to ask a question with the town administrator. Um, being the transfer station attendant, I just wanted to know that Christmas falls on a Saturday. Yeah, I am willing to work the transfer station that day because I'm sure a resident's going to want to come in with getting rid of the boxes and the things that we cannot take any bag trash or any wrapping paper because of you know, what's on it. So wrapping paper just goes into your regular trash and it's thrown out. But I would be more than willing to work Christmas Day at the transfer station. That's up to the you know the higher ups whether they want to. But again, just to remind you that also I, I, I am receiving transportation wise. A lot of people are coming in with bags, dining bags of trash. We do not accept any bag of trash at the transfer station at all. So just, that's just a reminder for the Just for clarification that, that they can open up the bag and dump what's in the bag? Yes. If you bring in the bag, the bag is supposed to be emptied out. You have to empty, open your bag up, empty it. The contents out of the dump for itself, and then take your bag with the same both the cardboard boxes in there, and that's transfer station. Of course, it's all marked with which dumpster or what goes where. In the so. I have to go. Just a quick update the electricians are actually at Town Hall right now, they're finishing not early, so there'll be a little disruption today as well. Okay? I'll be right back. Thank you, Jim. Awesome, at least. Hi everyone, uh, Tom Workman, uh, Chairman CPC. Uh, just want to let folks know we're having a public hearing. We're going to take another shot at it. I didn't have a quorum at the last meeting, so a short one, one member, so we have to reschedule. So we now we're set up at prime time, and we do have the full video audio set up with the cable. I want to thank the town administrator, our office staff at the town hall. Marvell, the people that helped get it, pull it together. Uh, Leanne, not here, but she helps a lot. She's here. All right, She's so listening. we are working. Oh, I'm sorry. She's She's I can't see you. Right. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, we're working together with the Historical Commission and also Park and Rec. And we have uh, some ongoing projects. We have one project with Historical, it's half of it's completed. And uh, we're you know, working closely with the town clerk on some projects, uh, which I may or may not know about, we're preserving some records, which really is a serious subject, but it's something that's kind of been sitting in boxes for quite some time. And it's an important project. It benefits the people of the town and it benefits, you know, the town, but it is the people's money and we want to help the people of Dighton Remember, folks, all this stuff goes to town meeting. Anything that's within the parameters of the CPC guidelines, we work with the state, the town. If it meets the parameters, we'll take a look at it. We have a board of people that will look at it and they'll review everything, the numbers, the projects, design. And, uh, then we'll, if we can move it forward to the town meeting, it'll move forward. Uh, the meetings are open to the public. Uh, I don't think a lot of people know what we do. Some people are new in town, but it's basically to benefit the people of the town. We try to do similar things in the past that restored uh, the, uh, I think you could speak on yeah, the historical society. The historical society, the historical yeah. society it was the old, it was a schoolhouse, I believe. I was just new in town, but it was an ongoing, Thing and the CPC helped them restore that. Now it's now it's their base of operations, and I believe it's open one day a week, and you can come in there. And sometimes they do tours for the kids, and so it's educational, so you don't forget the past. 
and, uh, which is important. Actually, understanding the past is important for the future. I mean, I'm not going to give you a history lesson. Uh, but there is some interesting history in this town. It's been around for over 300 some years. So there is a lot of history in this town that I don't think people realize. Um, that's about all I have. We're up, I mean, we're up and running, we're open for business. I like just trying to get the quorum, I keep my fingers crossed because we got a lot of business to conduct and we have to have a quorum. And, uh, hopefully it'll fall in, you know, it's the 18th, it'll all come together and we can get moving forward on some of these uh, issues. That's all I got. Any questions, comments? I mean, all right, right, thank you. Tim, you wanted to despise the fire. No, I, I have a question, sir. Not eight? Yes. <laughs> uh, serving as the town of Magnus Transfer Station attendant, um, Christmas falls on a Saturday. I would be willing to work the transfer station duties that day as long as in agreement with the blood count. So I'm just pointing that out. We did that last year, correct? Um, Christmas had to fall on. Um, I remember my first stint, it, it did fall on a Saturday one year, and, you know, I had work, but uh, as I said, I think one of them to work, but I just want to remind residents again um, if the Board of Health can do this, that we we'll only take your cotton wool, we will not take your wrapping paper, uh, no bag of trash is allowed, that type of thing, but it's just to give the opportunity for the residents to bring any Christmas tree, as long as all the tinsel is off it, that type of thing. Um, if you can, I know the local farm is not taking Christmas trees for the future, but it's, you know, like, as long as the tinsel is off it, you know, they don't want to leave it. So, so I'll, I'll leave that decision up to the Board of Health. I uh, can bring it up on the 18th. Probably be more appropriate that we have. I understand if you're willing to do it, and there's all the time involved, you know, with no premium pay. So I, I think the uh, residents would appreciate it if they're able to find their way to the transfer station you know, Christmas morning. Do you have anything else, Mike? No, I don't have anything else. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, everybody. Can you get talking to you, uh, McDonald, Ray, and uh, uh, Thank you, everybody. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everybody.